I'm here on the campus of Yale University only a few weeks before graduation. So you can see they're starting to set up the stage, getting everything ready for all the parents and the graduates and alumni to gather for a, a celebration. And I'm here outside uh, of historic Dwight Chapel. Uh, it means a lot to our family. Our dear friends Ellen and Donald Shell were married here. Donald and Rick were the chaplains here. And Donald Shell was, the, was, was ordained here in this church. And it's especially important for us today too, because this Sunday, our daughter Malia preached her first sermon here at Yale uh, in the chapel. And it was a really powerful thing to hear, you know, our 22 year old daughter talking about what faith means to her. And she was reminiscing about when I would pick her up from school and she was just a little girl and uh, she was in the, the little trailer on my bicycle. And the two of us were so close in those times together. And when she was little, she remembers singing parts of the service as she rode with me through the oak trees. So she'd sing, the Lord be with you. And what she would do is when she sang that, she would remember being a little girl and coming into the church service as I sang that to the congregation. And it was funny because she sings the priest's part, not the people's parts. And it was fascinating to hear just her reflections on um, Good Shepherd Sunday. One of the things that she talked about was when her brother went away to college, uh, just how much a loss that was. There, there was something gained. The three of us would do so much together, her mom and she and I, we would go and watch the sunset at different parts of the city. Um, we, we, we had so many great times together as the three of us. But we also missed our son, and she especially missed being with him and being able to talk to him just about our relationship, just about her relationship between the two of us. And that was her point of the sermon, that if we just had a relationship just to God, just by ourselves, that would not be enough. That we need other people to really understand what God means to us and to share our stories about how God is enriching our life. I have no idea where you are on your journey, where you are on your pilgrimage. Um, sometimes we seem like we have more of a community of faith with us than others. Sometimes we feel like we're really walking alone in our relationship with God. But my prayer is that you are finding that community of people that you can share your story with and where you can hear their story too. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.